did you know that there is a simple do-it-yourself home check that can reveal hidden secrets about the health of your child's spine. In this video, I will uncover the more rarely known signs of spinal health problems in young children that every parent should be made aware of. I will demonstrate a do-it-yourself pediatric spinal health screening test. This is a crucial test that I do in my office almost every day to detect spinal health problems in young children, but it can be done by a parent in the comfort of your own home. I will walk you through the test step by step so that you can perform this test with your child. While most people recognize the importance of spinal health in adults, many fail to realize that their children's spines are just as susceptible to injuries. In fact, most chronic spinal health problems that adults struggle with for most of their life stem from injuries during their early childhood. As children, we fall off the bike, we get tossed off our skateboards, we slip on the balance beams, we get tackled while playing sports, we fall off the monkey bars while at school. Each of these events can have an impact on the health of your child's growing and developing spine. And if not detected in corrected early can lead to worsening health issues down the road. In this video, I will walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to check your child's spine at home. This test takes between 5 and 10 minutes and can be performed on children 8 years and older. The test can also be done on younger children, but the skill level is much higher. I will demonstrate the test on a 12-year-old boy. As I progress through the test, be very careful not to rush. You do not want to miss detecting any spinal health issues which may be occurring in your child's spine. I recommend pausing the video at each step so that you do not feel rushed. Remember, when it comes to spinal health, early detection is critical so that you can get the right help at the right time. For most viewers, this will be the very first time that your child's spine has been checked, as most doctors do not perform detailed spinal health assessments during their routine checkups. It's also why it's important that parents be able to recognize the signs of spinal health problems in young children. Now, as we progress through the test together, if you find anything unusual, anything that doesn't look right at all, I recommend that you consult with a pediatric trained chiropractor in your area. Pediatric trained chiropractors are much more common today than even five years ago. I will leave a link in the description below to the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, which is a helpful resource to help parents track down pediatric trained chiropractors in their area. And also, be sure to watch this video all the way to the end as I do have a special bonus for you. It is a tool that can be downloaded and printed at home and will help guide you through the test. It is a pediatric spinal health assessment grid, which is really easy to use. My name is Dr. Michael Schultz. I'm a pediatric trained chiropractor located here in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. I have extensive postgraduate training in the clinical field of pediatrics and am fully certified with the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. With over 20 years of clinical experience, I have helped thousands of families and kids ranging from newborns, to toddlers, to teenagers, and even adults using gentle and effective chiropractic methods. This channel is about me delivering you easy to understand health information so that you can make more informed, better natural health choices for your family. Now, before we go any further, subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss future videos. Now I'm gonna begin the testing. Have your child wearing short. For boys, shirt off. Girls can wear a tight tank top. Their feet should be six inches apart and they should stand natural and relaxed. I'm gonna take this testing procedure in sections. We'll start with the upper spine, the cervical and thoracic, and then we'll look at the lumbar pelvis and so on. The testing is relatively simple, but take your time with it and I recommend pausing the video at each checkpoint. If there's spinal health issues, they're usually quite evident once you know what you're looking for. The first thing that you wanna look for is whether or not your child's head tilts to one way or the other. To do this, look at the ears. Are they horizontal or does one ear appear lower than the other. If this is the case, this usually indicates an injury in the upper cervical spine. The next thing you want to look at are the shoulder heights. Are they even from side to side or is one shoulder lower than the other? If you see one shoulder lower than the other and one ear lower than the other, you will often start to see a bend in your child's spine. The next thing you want to look at is the scapula height. Are they equal? and the muscles of the body, particularly the trapezius in this case, 
are, do they appear symmetrical from side to side? If one side of the muscles of the body appear very different from the other side, this is almost always not a muscle problem. It's an alignment issue in the spine. The next area that we want to look at is the pelvis and lumbar spine. The first thing we want to determine is whether or not your child's pelvis is level from side to side. Easiest way to accomplish this is to take your index fingers, press them into your, the side of your child's body, and rest them on top of the pelvis on each side and ask yourself, are they level? If one side is lower than the other, this usually indicates either a rotational issue in the pelvis or in rare scenarios, an anatomical short leg. The next thing we wanna look for is whether or not there is a lean or a tilt of your child's spine to one side. The best way to accomplish this is to look at the gap made between your child's side of the body and his or her arm. They should be symmetrical from side to side. If your child has a lean to one side, then the space on that one side will begin to open, indicating an alignment issue all the way up through the spine. You also wanna make sure you take a look at the muscles of the body and they should look symmetrical from side to side. The final test I'm gonna show you is called the Adam scoliosis test, which is specifically used to determine if a scoliosis is beginning to develop in your child's spine. To perform this test, have your child slowly begin to bend forward and touch their toes. As they bend forward, keep your eyes on the spine. If a scoliosis exists, you'll start to see a curvature come out. If you found anything at all that's concerning, anything that does not look correct, remember, this was the point of the video. The purpose of this video was to train you to identify spinal health problems early in your child's life versus waiting for a health crisis to occur down the road. In this situation, as I mentioned earlier, I recommend that you track down a pediatric trained chiropractor in your city for a more detailed health assessment. All right, you made it this far into the video, so as promised, I have a special bonus for you. It is a pediatric spinal health assessment worksheet that you can download and print up at home, and it will help guide you through the various checkpoints. To access this download, look in the description box below for a link. Now I'd like to know your thoughts. What did you think about the pediatric spinal health assessment test? Were you able to perform it on your child? Did you find anything? What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you found value in this video, I'm going to ask that you share it so that other parents can benefit from this information as well. Make sure you like and subscribe.